guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. Part two of the Xbox, green Xbox refurb, recondition, re whatever we want to call it. Right, basically, I'm giving the CD drive a bit of a clean out, take the back off, take the board out, give things a blowout inside, it's simple. It's probably never going to be used because we can be running everything off the hard drive if I do use it, but I've come across something funny. You know, this hard drive that's in here that whoever it is has put this in. Um, there's a sticker on the bottom of here, so I'm going to see what size hard drive it is. I've got a funny feeling it's probably 500 gig, probably less than that, to be honest. So, three screws are out, fourth one's out, it is... oh. Well, that's a bit of a disappointment, isn't it? I was thinking that might have shown exactly what it was. It seems C8. Playing tricks on me. Okay, fine, so be it. I'm going to clean the caddy a little bit, keep both caddies because they'll be going in probably last anyway. So, what's next? Yeah. Need to redo the heat sinks. Now, I've got a few things on the go at the moment, so I'm on top myself. I need to take off both of these. So you'll prise off behind there, push down a little bit, pull out and lift out. Simple as. That will come out. That won't. Now, lever up. Same again. Actually, it might be better from the back. A little bit of leverage behind, let's try and get that unhooked. Once that's unhooked, you can manipulate it out so you can get that out. So that comes out. That is very, very dry. The paste on there is dry. That is, it's a pad more than anything. That, I thought it would be like this. properly stuck, the heat sink and the thermal paste are well and truly stuck in place. So, best option is one of these if you've got it. If you haven't, a hairdryer will do well. So, just be careful. That's on cold at the moment, on heat. Right. You don't need too much heat, you just need to heat up the film paste. There we go. It just takes off a little bit of... Oh, that is disgusting under there. Yeah, it just warms things up a little bit so you can take it straight off. It kind of sticks. But these, this is actually worse than the thermal pad, thermal paste I had on the, the V6s, 1.6s should I say. This is horrible. I thought thermal pads might be quite good, but... That is definitely dead. If you haven't got a heat gun, then a hairdryer will do the trick. As long as you can get this heated up a little bit so it's, it's uncomfortable to hold. Because at the minute that's quite hot. But it's just uncomfortable, not melted, not on fire. Or, your best option, run the run the um, Xbox for a few minutes just to get this warmed up and it will come straight off. I'll put that out of the way so I can get it done. Right, I need to get these cleaned, that cleaned, the hard drive put back in place and the caddies cleaned. And we're starting to take shape, ugh, take shape a little bit on re-putting this back together again. Reassembling, cleaning. This is the DVD drive. This is a Samsung one, as it says. Samsung has got two cutouts there as well. The top will lift off if you take the bottom. There's four screws holding the bottom plate in. The top will come off anyway because that's holding through as well in all four sides. You can open the drawer by pressing this white button inside here, which then will pull that open. Give it a good blowout. At this stage, you can quite easily replace this belt. That's one of the main problems that keeps cropping up is if that has 
stretched or if it started to degrade. The moment that it doesn't look too bad actually. There's a tiny bit of give in it, but it feels quite tight on the opening and shutting, so I'm gonna leave it as is. Blown out the insides, so everything seems fine. I don't need to clean the lens, I don't want to clean the lens. So that is going to stay as is. This is January 2003. Under sides there. The hard drive is back in its caddy at the moment. So that's good. Everything's plodding along nicely. I mean, as always with these, I'm going to pick the best stuff to go into the one and then the worst stuff to go into the other. That's not going into there properly. I know why. Because I broke the tab off. I've glued it back in place, but it doesn't seem to have gone in the exact right spot. See, there's stuff like here as well. The plastic started to crack there, so I might get a little bit of glue on there just to try and support it. Same on the opposite side as well. That's not looking too good. So, a smaller bit. False screw. That way. No, but it's a posi dry screw. Of course it is, Ralph. You don't want too much on there anyway. I'm pulling the casing in anyway, so actually, that does want a bit more than him. Hmm. Definitely put that in the wrong place, didn't I? There we go. Bit better. Here's a normal screwdriver. Crossroad itself, there we go, better. And into the caddy, these only go in one way, so getting it the right way is essential. Is that right? Dust on there. It's amazing how much dust these things collect. Toothbrush is always good for just brushing them off. <sighs> I'm never going to get this spot this clean anyway, I know I won't. Dust and crap. <sighs> right, so that's on, it clipped into place anyway, so that's ready to go in. So we got that, we got that. I want to do next is the base. Now I'm keeping this one because it's not cracked and it's complete, but there's no feet. So what I've done, that's a propano. Just squirt on all four sides. Let it work its magic and get a scraper. Plastic scraper. And just remove the sticky. I know what I was doing. I've actually forgotten to do the um, cleanup of the heat sink. So once these are off, I'll put some other double side tape on because I have the feet already. So these will just go straight in. So I'll just stick them back into place anyway. Probably best just leaving this to go there because it starts to go a little bit like glue. From a solid to a gooey state. And this isn't the best bottom on here, there's no stickers and there's a little bit of scratching on it, but it's better than the other one. Do that on all four and you're gonna end up with no glue, no stick, no tack. Just a lot of crappy, gooky stuff. See, if you can get them out fully like that, see half of it's coming out, it's like a tape. If you can get it out fully, good luck. If not, then you just have to let it go to goo. So once I've got all four of these done, I'll get the chip cleaned, the heat sinks cleaned, and back in a second with more cleaning. Hooray! Well, this is fun. Still
to fold in the, um, uh, the heat sink on it. It's an absolute nightmare. It's got to be in a thermal pad. Just plot it on there, but it's going to be a nightmare taking it off the board. But a bit of patience. Plastic scraper, so don't damage the metal. And plenty of time. Yeah. I'm back in half an hour when I'm done. <laughs> right, cleaning finally done. Which is Jeremy. There's quite a lot of this bottle, to be honest. Um, right. The only thing that gets me a little bit is this board is fine, but this this actually worked fine. The other thing is this this there's a patch cable here. Now I don't remember the Xbox ever having patch cables, but it goes from here. And if I lift that up, it doesn't go anywhere. So it looks like it would probably go to this end part here if it doesn't work. But, um, hmm. Let's just leave it as is. So it looks like somebody may have modded this in the past. Potentially started it. So I think that is one of the areas you do go from and to, but that doesn't look like it's being used for a socket. So it's not harming anybody, I don't care. It did work, so why wouldn't it work again? <sighs> right, so, while we're here, took this framework off, the kind of five pins, five pegs, goes into the board, and if they don't squash, push through, and yep, 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 and yep, click in place. So they pop through and then you push the pins all the way through. And I'm doing that because this is the framework to hold in place your heat sinks. So they're all in place, apart from the end one. Oh, go in. Of course, I'm squashing against itself. There you go. One, two, three, four, and faves. Good. Now, they're not as clean as I wanted the GPU and the CPU. Neither are the heat sinks because it's, it's stained the thing. It's absolutely the wrong thing to have put on. So, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put super glue on it. I'm going to put MS, MX4. Now, this is always a pain in my backside, this top. Bought a lot quite a long time ago, so I'm going to put on, knowing it's going to blob out, no more than that on the GPU, because that will spread very well, and then CPU, as soon as I don't want it going too much, little blob. That's a good thing about it being a syringe, if you put too much in, you can suck it back up again. I think that's too much in there. But I don't want to start scraping it off. I'm faffing around with it because it goes everywhere. So, oh, I even clean these. These are quick, quick brush. Okay, so, biggest heat sink goes on there. It's gone too far. I can feel it. Right, that goes on the back. Get that in first. One side in, other side clicks, and then that goes. Hold it in place. That one. Next. The middle. Squeeze it, wash, rattle it around a bit so it goes round. Don't have to do too, too much with it. So that back end is in the wrong way round. So it's opposite way around because that part of the handle will block that screw all up. Don't do it that way, do it this way. There we go. Done. She's in place. There's movement, there is movement, which is fine. Done. <sighs> I need to tidy up. And we'll get ready for the next part, which I think may now be full reassembly. Let's see if she works. Now, reassembly. 
here's my good base. See, nothing wrong with the corners at all. Nice and clean. I'm going to go back to doing the original as it should be. So this is going to have the RF shield, the whatever covers you want to call it, around and in and on. So, so I like to do keep these as original as possible. I mean, there's a little bit of rust in the corner there. This is the better one out of the two. I cannot do much with it. Right, second part. Let's put the power supply in. Try not to electrocute ourselves. In and on. So that goes underneath. There's some tabs along the side of there. So I need to put it in, but have it held underneath there. Two screws. Now, right bit. Nope. Nope. Yep. One there. And knocking is the torque setting. I don't want to get it too much. But I also don't want to have it not enough. Right, let's have a look. I have four of these. No, I can't play eight players, but these are the spare parts I've got. Yes, what's the good ones I've got? That's not too bad. That just needs a clean up. See, I could shove these up a little bit, but I can't be bothered. That's a good one. That's okay. One I threw away. Quite good one, okay. Right, so they go in there, but they don't, because that goes over here, because the cable goes to the motherboard once it's in place. I could put the motherboard in now. I'm going to do this awkwardly. Actually, what I need to do is put this in place. I've got time. Lovely. That goes in. Can't go in that way because there's a circle here, won't fit. It's an oval actually, right here. So you put it outside, thread it through, and then we're in. Push through. I'd actually recommend if you're actually taking these to pieces, it clips on the side here and the side here, as well as the three tabs here. If you can see, you want to prise off this side as best you can and then push down on these tabs or pull up on these tabs but put it back in place it should just snap back into place but it always feels to me like it's about to break so be careful I don't want to break this I want it in one piece one tabs through that's around the edge of there where's that one Coming through. Feels like it's not going ah, we go. that in place. Yes, lovely. Okay, the other one in. So that's got a longer piece there. That's still has right hand side one because the short piece of that wants to go over there. In place, done. Four screws. Absolutely no reason why I can't put the motherboard in. I think that might be last next actually. Box full of screws. I know I haven't got enough. Hence that's why I've got the other kit. Okay. One sec. Now we'll get in motherboard the right way around. So the cable needs to be out of the way a little bit and thread in through the back. There, now have I got all the cables up? Yes. Is it in place? No. Not exactly. Must be a little bit further forward. There we go. I can see all the screw holes. Let's start filling in with the screws. I have one there. 
We have two holding in the HDMI port. Well, the port for the video. Anyway, I mean, on some levels, I don't want to be doing this because if that patch cable on the bottom does want attaching, which there's no reason why it should, apart from there is one with the mod that does need the cable cutting. And if somebody has put that in and forgot, oh, and cut the, the board, but put that cable in to patch it over, then I've got some work in front of me to do. But let's just hope that this is perfectly fine. Took the clock chip out. We haven't got a problem. Is the one in that corner, I think. We're there. That's still loose. It's getting tighter. Right, so we want joystick port on the right. Like a USB anyway. That is it in the left. Two different types, one bigger than the other. Come on, swine, there we go. Yellow one for the front panel next to it. This one here for the left USB ports. Well, they are the same colour as USBs. The power supply goes in there. So, if I was a fan, we were here fan connects in via those two pegs onto there but then they catch on those anyway so a bit of pushage in there pushage is a word both feet into there and then a push down connect the cable and we're done I have two screws on here they need three I'm, I'm sure I'm missing a screw I'm definitely Am I? No. Right, so I can get a cable. Now the thing with the cable is this goes over here, over there, into there. That goes in the back of this. But I have that to attach. It's up to me if I want to do that or not. It's actually tight inside, that's quite good. And this will only go on one way. I'll go back off the drive. Let's keep that to one side for a while. If we can. Da -da -da -da. I've already changed the green part there of the CD drawer. That was very easy to do. Right. Cable in there. So I've actually, so actually swapped drives around on here, I think. Hmm. There we go. That's in. On. Also, in normally on little videos like this, I probably do like a fast forward montage, and I haven't done. It's a bit strange. I enjoy doing them because I can just carry on without any problems and not worry about waffling on, not waffling on. Sometimes you need to waffle while you're doing stuff. Okay, hard drive, the mystery hard drive. In place, I have a problem with it, getting these in. Fits on top of there, fits in there, put the cables into there. Thread the cables into there. Jesus. 
better. Under, under, round, in. The best way, probably not. I can't even see that. The ribbon cable, come up, there you go. That wants one more screw, so I'll have to go into the box of spares. There you go. Don't go in there, then there you go. Okay, that thread's underneath there. Done. So I have this cable here for this ring, this little halo that goes on the top. Now, we already have the top here. I haven't put that on just yet. So I need to attach that somehow there there perhaps maybe that is a ah okay that's clever so how do I want to do this the cable around the back of there I want that to come down here I want it through there. Once that's on, you'll see everything. Mm. This is in and on, but it's not. No. Give me a minute or two to think this one through. Because I want to hide the cables for this. Okay. <clears throat> the light ring is in place, glued in place on these two. Because these two pegs here go through these two holes on the shielding. So you have to kind of forgo those anyway. Silver foil in over the top of the insulating tape, which is fine. Once it does the way around, all I will probably see is this silver cable coming down, which hopefully could blend in with the silver of that. It's just getting this in the right place. Now, straight down would mean there. You can see it. I would have been better trying to get the cables through the shielding. If that's there, that comes down here. Okay, and I can get a bit further around, straight maybe. Okay, so there then. Just a the side of that. Alright. So I need to push these through. I won't grip that anyway. One, two, three, four. Might do a little bit there. Not too much. So hopefully that go through into there. Not blow anything up because it's on the shield. Ah, okay. Alright, that's coming that way of it. Maybe I could go across, that's going to nip into there then. Hmm. Okay, alright. Um, what have we got? Bend one of those out of the way. Push it through, maybe. It shouldn't nip anything. Should. Turn the corner right. Ah, there we go. I'm trying to care of the plastics. I've been told these plastics are quite delicate. There we go. Done. How much is that silver one there? No colour, no nothing, so that should be fine. I can't even see it going into there. Now, final part, I have four black bolts and in my pot I have two silver ones. Cool, cool and cool. Now is that the part for it? Yes it is. Drill bit in place. I don't 
doesn't sound good, does it? I said, what it is, is the other side has never been used. So I remember looking at the, the lid and it was, these four corner parts did look a little bit worn and the other part didn't. I think... I feel it's going a bit flat. Which is good, because it means I'm not going to tie it up too tight. Good, good, good. And what I've got now... Going round it. Oh no! That wasn't the right one after all. Damn it! It's too thin. Good and good and good and good. Is the feet? This didn't have feet on, on it at all. It just had the sticky bits in it, and that's fine. Except I have four spares, so I've got a man to stick me some double-sided tape on the back of them. Okay, my nails are shockingly bad. Hold on, quick jump cut. Is it by magic? They're done. So all I need to do is put one in there, under there, 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 and there, there. I'm going to leave off the, these stickers anyway. I can't find, won't be able to find them anyway, so she's done. Actually looked pretty good. So this is the silver foil tape that I was on about earlier. It's basically double-sided, well, single-sided sticky tape with foil on the top. It probably will conduct, but I use it for internal models. Well, the internal of models to make them, yeah. I was hoping it might have not made that look so stupid, but it's um, not really worked. So, let's get these plugged in to see if they work. Now give me a second to find the cables and we'll get this thing... Get, actually, for, for giggles sakes... Oh, here's another one I made earlier. <laughs> now I already took all the parts that I wasn't going to use in here to this one. Like this has got the cracked part of the case there, the smashed corner. It's actually quite solid anyway. Everything that was not going to not that good was going to go in here so in the worst case i've got with this here the cable is i could either sink it through one of the holes and ignore it or just take it out completely it's not essential i mean you can't really tell too much of it anyway but all the little leds around there it looks fine but one bad one good let's see if they work now, this is the one with the black front. As I tried to turn over one television, it's got two TVs exactly the same. Power is on. Good sight, it's not blown up. Now let's press the power button on the front. You'll hear the television doing what it needs to anyway, so we'll see what's what. That was the wrong button. The Lizzie eject works. Now she's flashing green. she's gone red number 16 again so that's got the same fault as before maybe it does want with it not being chipped maybe it does want to be with the um uh, yeah the, 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 the key not the key the capacitor but that's actually working the black front is actually properly working but it's still got the same fault so i've managed to cannibalize that one pretty well i'll set up the other one because this is going on eBay as let somebody else fix this one. Because I don't really need the parts, but at least that works. That works fine. Now we'll check the other one. I'm get the second one set up, the one I'm keeping, and we'll see. Can't get past now. It might just want the clock chip, something doing to it. I don't know. Maybe it'll work better if it was actually chipped. But we'll see what happens with it. Yeah, we'll see it going on eBay and see if we can get some money back into the garage with it. Second one set up. Believe it or not, it's got the 
green front. So let's press power this time and see what happens. That works, fine, not shorting out. It's got a, a red X, so it's still showing the mod. So I'm not sure if these are white or the green, the LEDs. Let's see the eject button. Ah. Check won't work because I've got a problem with that dra drive. Okay, it does work. That front's not on right. Right, we're well, showing the the time is two thousand. Oh, the year is two thousand and two. Xbox games a. What should we play? Dead or Alive 3? Evolution X. Fight, while you're there, I'm going to set you up over there behind me so you can watch this with me. So yeah, they're watching, we're working fine. Talk about the bad setup. <sighs> Is there a story to deal with? The sparring mode. Single battle. Working fine. <laughs> you know, one reason people play Dead or Alive, which was a two. Why isn't the other oh the other one to uh the other one wants a joypad putting in? Oh, camera angle. Oh, that's just silly. Kick her in the ass. Ooh, get down, boy. Ooh, down. Again, something else. You really can't see the Xbox there, can you? You go too far down. Yeah, I'm sorry, this is just really bad camera work. Yeah, there you go, red X. I'll go down a bit lower, but this is as low as I can go. What size hard drives on here? Utilities. Skins, DVD to Xbox. Let's try a loader. I'd like to know. Settings. No. Emulators. We got in here. Nintendo Mega Drive. Okay, so the only one I can actually play properly is Star Fox. Which we haven't got on here, which the American version is Star Wing. Oh, I'll go right there. Check some OK. Oh, 
Okay. That works fine. Now, if I can get you back up there and back out onto there, we'll finish this video. It's like it's kind of a success and a failure, but a success. So, with that done, that one's going on to be sold. It's not bad, it's nice and clean now. It's pretty good. This one works like a dream, feels really good, very solid. Nice lighting bit in there, nothing on the top. Could have done with some more mods on the actual controller ports as well. Done them out as well, if I wanted to. But still can anyway. It's a good little mod that just lights up each one of these by putting an LED inside, because they're all just three volts inside there anyway, so very easy to do. So with that in mind, done. Nice case, already modded, soft modded. Okay, but gave me some money back for the channel. So anyway, I thought we've learned something because I've learned quite a little bit and getting back into doing the Xbox again. So with that in mind, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, follow me on social media, consider being a patron, consider helping out the channel with a donation, whether or not it's cash, whether or not it's whatever. If it's something, if it's another Xbox, I can do some more with it. Well, saying that, I have got now eight. So let's get selling some, some Xboxes, I think. So thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.